Alright. So, it's uh, New Year's Day. No, New Year's Eve. 1999. It's going to be 2020. No, 20, uh, 2000. So, the year 20. So, the turn of the century. 1999 till there. Everybody's afraid that there's going to be the end of the world and all this kind of stuff. I told everybody everything is going to be fine. Nothing is really going to change. The digital world and the, what is it, technology and everything, they said it's going to be a relapse and it's going to cause all kinds of chaos. But I said nothing is going to happen. And sure enough, the year came and nothing happened. Everything was good. Business is good. I'm doing pretty well. I do have a ghost in the washroom, though, that I have to deal with. But now, all the other ghosts are wanting to come in. And my angel's like telling me, I'm going to have to deal with this because this is, there's so many. And every time I do a reading, they want to get close. It's hard to, to get into my place because I have it all blocked off with people don't notice, but a tiny bit of salt on each kind of corner or something like that. And then I was collecting coins as a child, so I had lots of silver. And I would put silver in each little spot so that they couldn't come through. And I'm religious, and I had a priest come in and bless the place. And then I asked for some holy water just to have it, you know. He said that was odd, but he said he'd give it to me. Anyway, also dabbed a tiny bit of holy water everywhere. And uh, lucky items. Rabbit's foot, silver dollar lucky penny, things like that, feather. But I still have to deal with the ghosts. So I decided with my angels that I would take a day or an evening. They like nighttime better. So around midnight, I would meet as many as I could around my area. Because ghosts have to be close to where they passed away. Usually, some of them can latch onto people, some of them can travel through other means. Let's say they died in a, a river and the river's flowing. They can, they can do the whole river wherever it goes. Uh, yeah, anyway, so uh, we get ready and all of a sudden I, I go into a trance because I don't want to fall asleep on this one because uh, it's, I have to be coherent. And uh, sometimes if you're sleeping and doing it, it goes into a dream state, and you're not, you're not as coherent or as in control as you'd like to be. So, I'm in a trance, and I start meeting all the ghosts within, I figure, 500 meters from my restaurant. And there's almost like 300. To remember, each one individually is almost impossible. So I just did the best I could. But I still had to deal with the ghost in the washroom. And this ghost... Uh, had most ghosts have a thing that when they die they haven't finished their business there's an argument with their mother uh, a thing they didn't do before they died it's always something you're not going to know when you're going to die so you're not going to know if you're going to finish that thing so a lot of ghosts have issues for things that have, they've had in their life and they just want to finish this so with this ghost in the washroom her issue was that she had her daughter give up the first child for adoption. And she felt bad about it, and she wanted to find the first daughter. Since then, she's had three more children uh, with the same husband, and he's passed away. This information I don't know yet. I just know that this lady wants to f get her daughter and forgive her for, for her trying to get rid of her child because she was the instigator that made her give up her child for adoption. Mind you, she was 15 to 16 years old at the time when she gave up the girl, the, her, her little girl for adoption. And adoption papers are very difficult when they're sealed. If you do all the proper work, you cannot find out where your child is or anything like that. So this is going to be a task for me that I have to achieve. 
And so I hire a whole bunch of waitresses and stuff like that. And I do the best I can to hire the best waitresses I can so I can have the best business that I can. And uh, beyond that note, I got five stars in the, a review, which was really good. And that's due to all the staff that I had. And, and it was good. And so the girl that gave up the adoption, so that's her daughter. I've not met her yet but i gotta figure out where her daughter was sent and where the adoption agency sent the daughter and who are the parents new parents and to get forgiveness from the mother the grandmother that died to the daughter to the granddaughter which would be the oldest one this was my job at that at that time and then also i had to deal with, uh, let's call him the professor, the mathematical professor. And I'm doing a lot of stuff with readings in the restaurant also to help him believe so he understands there's something else out there other than mathematics and science. And we'll go on with those stories later. I'll finish the story about the one in the ghost and then we'll continue the story with uh, the professor, that's the mathematical genius that develops that equation that has computer things that computers can think on their own and become sentient. So I'll get back to this later because I'm only trying to make these under under 10 minutes now over five. All right, talk to you later. It's pretty bye.